Lord in every life. And as we come back another time, we'll come back with testimonies in our mouth. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. We thank you because our faith is alive. And the exploits of living faith will be upon every life. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Yami, Pastor Yami, are you online? Yes, I am. Oh, the, the Lord is your strength. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you so much for for another opportunity, another period of time that we as called out people, we come together to pray, to seek your face, and to seek help from your throne of grace. In this prayer conference, Holy Spirit, we need your enablement. In this prayer conference, Holy Spirit, we need your support. In this conference, Holy Spirit, we need your grace. May you pour the spirit of supplication upon our soul, upon our heart, upon our life, in Jesus' name. Amen. And we pray that tonight, we are looking up to you, that the spirit of the living God, we liberate our hearts. Amen. And as you give us spiritual understanding to know who we are in Christ and to penetrate, you will give us victory in every side in Jesus' name. And Amen. we commit our brethren to your might and your present hand as they connect, as they join us Amen. together to pray. We pray you will take over and possess our life. Thank Amen. you, Father. In Jesus' you, name, we pray. Amen. Men, oh, brethren, oh. I want you to don't begin to thank the Lord. Let's begin to appreciate oh. the Lord. 
Let's begin to praise the name of the Lord. Glorify your Let's holy name. His name is Jehovah. He's the oh, King of Kings. My Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you. We give you all the glory that do you. We all know your name. And we Let's exalt bless the Lord as we worship him. Let's, Let's glorify the name of the Lord. On the Lord Jesus, in the Lord, Spirit of the living God, we bow and we bend before you. You are God, you are King, you are Lord, you are wonderful, you are amazing. There is no one to be compared with you. Hallelujah, is God no is still the truth. We liken unto you, King of glory. How glorious, how wonderful, how excellent, how beautiful, how mighty, how extraordinary you are. Lord, we put you as a mighty, terrible one. Take all the praises in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift your name. We exalt you. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Lift your name. Father, we bow before thy throne of majesty. And we say, take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take there is all the power in you as a believer. Thank God for Jesus. Christ in you, the hope of glory. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Patient or day, mm, thank as you, Father. You are, as old as you are, you will never change. Oh, God is Lord. Is Lord, Amen. He has risen from the dead. Who is Lord? Oh Lord, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus. Let's see, because He's the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. We worship you. We bless you. You are the King of you, the Lord of Lords. You are the ancient of days. You are the unbeaten. You are the uncomparable. You are the God of the universe. You are the God that can never fail. You are the greater of the greatest, the mighty to save. Always to me. Praise the name of the Lord. You are a great God. You are the mighty God. We just want to appreciate you, God. Life is a gift. And the gift of life. We appreciate you for the gift of life. We thank you for the preservation of life. We worship you because you are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. We thank you for preserving our life. We worship you for preserving our family. We adore you. We magnify you. We exalt you. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. The King of glory. A led to marry. Worship the Lord. Let him the praise. Give him the glory due unto his name. Give the Lord the shout of praise. Give the Lord the shout of praise. The glory due to his name. Celebrate him. Celebrate his victory on the foot of Calvary. Celebrate his victory over Satan. Celebrate his victory over sickness. Celebrate his victory over demon. Celebrate his victory over demon, over sickness, over disease. Worship him. Worship him. Ashes of things as old you as you are, we worship you. Arubo Jobatik Yuku, we worship you. The King of people cannot change, we worship you. The Lord of glory, we worship you. Hallelujah. My brother, talk to God in prayer. Bless his holy name. For the Lord is good. And his mercy is endured forever. And his mercy is endured forever. Who is the one to Jehovah Shammah? 
who is like Uncle Jehovah Jireh, who is like Uncle Jehovah Sikenu, who is like Uncle Jehovah Rea, who is like Uncle Jehovah, the strong and mighty one, the Jehovah Missy, the Lord of our banner. What a mighty God we worship with, sir. Thank you, Lord, because there is no one, there is no one, no power, no zero, no angel, no majority. Hey, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Father, Holy Lord God, my Father, in the name of Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please, I would like us to emote ourselves. Brother uh, Benjamin, emote yourself. And those that are, let's all emote ourselves, please, so that we can pray as we are praying, we can hear each other's voice. When we come for a prayer conference, we come to pray. When we come for a prayer conference, it's not a quiet time. It's a prayer time. So please, I want to challenge you to start up yourself and to go to God in prayer. Men and brethren, we are going to pray. The Bible says every man that has his hope in him is purified himself. You are going to pray tonight that the blood of Jesus will purify your heart. The blood of Jesus will purify your thoughts. Every man that has this hope of going with the Lord, every man that has the intention of seeing the misery on the last day, every man that seeks holiness without which no man shall see the Lord, any man that seeks to please God to dwell, to dwell with him in the heavens, he must purify himself. You are going to ask the blood of Jesus to purify your thoughts, to purify your emotion to purify your habits, to purify your brain, to purify your daydreaming, to purge your heart. Open your mouth and come before the Lord. The Bible says will give himself for us that he may redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people. And purify unto himself a peculiar people. It is the blood of Jesus that can make us purify. When the egg is being broken, that is where the enemy will strike. But when we are fought, when we are purified, when we are cleansed, when we are neat, it will be very difficult for the demon to penetrate. It will be very difficult for Satan and sin and the agent of darkness to penetrate. Why can't you call upon the Lord and say, God, purify me. Open your mouth and talk to God in prayer. The blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary to purify my heart. The efficacy of the blood of Jesus will never fail. Call upon the Lord and ask the blood of Jesus to work wonders in your life, to work miracles in your life. And when I see the blood, the blood of the everlasting covenant, and when I see the blood, the blood of Emmanuel, and when I see the blood, the blood of our Redeemer. And when I see the blood, the blood of Messiah. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. I will pass over you. There is protection through the blood of Jesus. There is cleansing through the blood of Jesus. There is pardon through the blood of Jesus. There is authority through the blood of Jesus. There is dominion through the blood of Jesus. There is prosperity through the blood of Jesus. There is assurance through the blood of Jesus. There is dominion through the blood of Jesus. And there is authority through the blood of Jesus. The power of the blood of Jesus will never fail. When I see the blood, the efficacy of the blood of Jesus will sanctify your heart, to sanctify your thoughts, to sanctify your emotion. To sanctify your, your mind. May the efficacy of the blood of Jesus, may that blood brought out every spot, every wrinkle, every blemish. The efficacy of the blood of Jesus will never pay. Power in the blood of Jesus is available. Authority in the blood of Jesus is available. Power in the blood of Jesus will never pay its efficacy. I'm by the blood of the Lord. The blood of Jesus will never lose his, 
his power and his authority upon my life, upon your life, upon our family. There's oh, power be in that name. Oh, There's authority in that name. There is dominion in that name. Oh, wonder working power of the blood of Jesus we never fail. Oh, let the blood flow. Oh, God, let the blood flow. Ah, let the, the blood, blood of flow. Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. Plead the blood. In your heart, plead the blood. On your brain, plead, plead, plead the blood. On your thought, plead the blood. In every area of your life, plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus in my heart, my thoughts, my brain, my intestine. The blood of Jesus work miracle. Plead the blood in your bones. Plead the blood of Jesus in your marrow. Let the efficacy of the blood of Jesus Christ work effectively in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name name we pray amen please i want us to remove ourselves so that we can benefit from this prayer please except you are except you are on special duty i understand if you are on duty maybe you're in your place of work or you're in a special duty but if you're if you're in your home in your house please emote yourself and let's pray together and there will be victory in our life tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you know what? Amen. Many, many people do not know that the number one primary target of the devil is Christian. The Christian is a target of the devil. If you are born again, you need to know this. The devil hates you to the core. And he is so malicious, malicious, malicious against you, try to destroy you. He hates you with a perfect hatred. And when you succeed, he hates your success. He know that your destiny is right. And his own destiny is in the bottomless pit. And he's working day and night to deceive many so-called believers. He can go to born so that they will go and born in everything. No wonder the Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 and 4, he is called the God of this world, who has blind the mind of unbelievers, who are perishing. This devil cannot be taken lightly with a light hand. As they call out one, we should know how to fight against our adversary and how to overcome him. Satan called a worldwide meeting of demons. Maybe you have heard that. Let me tell you, for, for those of you that you have not heard this, this story, and uh, for those of you that, that you know this story, let me just refresh your memory. There was many years ago, Satan called a worldwide meeting of demons. And his open speech is said, we cannot keep them, keep Christian from going to church. In his open speech, in that meeting, he said, we cannot keep them from reading the Bible. We cannot keep them from having intimate fellowship with their master. Every time they gain connected with their savior and our power over death is broken and powerless you know that so this is what we are going to do let them go to church but during the week in that meeting he said as we as often as we can we must see the attack. Hey, no what a strategy. In that meeting, he said, there must oh, be the help of the Christians. So they do not have enough time to spend with Jesus. And this is how they went to do things, how they, they go ahead to accomplish, to accomplish this demonic, satanic mission. He said to them, distract them from connecting with your master all throughout the day 
the demons shouted and all the demons shouted in that meeting and they said oh we we accomplish our mission the devil answered by keeping them busy tempting them to do the unnecessary things occupy their mind make them to spend and spend and spend and borrow and borrow and keep them in there that was the outcome of the meeting they have with those demons that the christian will not have time at all is that not what we are seeing today the devil is like the mission of the devil is accomplished upon many Christians today. Go ahead, um, Steal their time, uh, occupy them, and give them a uh, lot of responsibility. Uh, Don't make sure that they do not connect with their master. They will not have intimate fellowship with their master. He taught all those demons. He sent them out and they began to accomplish their mission today. Many people forget Bible study. They don't go to Bible study. Some people go to revival hour again. Know that they are on special duty. And some people read their Bible again. Know, know that they are on special duty. The devil has occupied those stories, the mind of the Christian. And it is oh, yeah. mission is not accomplished upon the Christian today but we are going to overcome all those all those demonic strategy of the devil in jesus name do you know the born again christian i know in the spirit war do you know if you are born again they know you in the spirit war by the light that shine constantly around you every time and that light is very bright like a candlestick in the art of all a circle of light surrounding the head of every believer or a wall of fire surrounding the believer you may not know my brother you may not know my sister that there is a light shining upon your life there's a circle of light surrounding you and when a christian is walking alone demons see angel walking along with them one by the right hand and one by the left and I want behind this make it impossible for demon to come near the believer. The only way demon succeeds to get to Christian is by making them to sin, thereby giving them a loophole to come in. When a Christian is being is driving his car and the demon wants to harm that Christian. They find out that a Christian is never alone in the car. Hallelujah. There is always an angel by him in that car there. There is always an, uh, an angel by her in that car there. It is amazing. The demon of Christian can sometimes be so powerless because they do not know the awesome power they have the authority they have and the spiritual protection they have and the spiritual light over their life they do not know and the and the wall of fire surrounding them and the and the pillar of cross surrounding them and the mark of the blood of jesus christ upon their life up, upon them everywhere they go there's inherited there's a mark god place upon you as a child of god the demon it. That's, they, they always see it. And the angel of the living God is always by your side 24 7. You don't know. And that's why you must be very careful how you talk. Don't speak or believe. You must be very careful how you speak when you are getting when when the time of provocation because an angel of God is always by your side. Hear me, sir. I repeat myself an angel of the living God is always following you. I repeat again, an angel of the living God. In your car, the angel is there. As you are walking along the road, the angel is following you. As you are sitting down in your house, the angel is by your side over there. As you are lying down, the angel is keeping you. I will give my angel charge over you to guide you. Many of us do not know that you are a spiritual bodyguard. Many of you do not know that you are not alone. Many of you do not know that the 
edge of God upon your life, the protection of God upon your life, the authority of Christ upon your life, always surrounding you, always helping you, always abiding in you. My present will go with you. May the presence of God Almighty abide in your life. May the power of God, may the anointing of the Holy Ghost never lack his strength, never lack his, his, his grace upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear brother, you have um, some power. My dear sister, you have dominion. You have authority. You are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. That is where you are. You are not beneath. That is why I wonder why some people just talk like if they are ordinary people. You are more than a governor. You are more than a president of a nation. If you know your position where God has placed you, if you know your position where Christ has placed you, you want to walk humbly with the Lord, and the Lord's power will rest in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Never worry, whatever you are going through, the angel of God will see you through. Never worry the challenge that's confronting you. The angel of the Lord will always be there to comfort you. Never worry. You may not have physical, financial, and all that. God in heaven will send angels to bring manna from heaven to eat you. Never worry. You may be saying, How oh, am I going to pay my debt? God will show up and the angel of God will provide for you. I'm telling you, the Lord will send his angel to provide that manna to provide that currency for you. You are going to possess your possession. Have faith in God. Speak positive word. Don't speak unbelief. Speak word of faith. Don't speak word of doubt. I'm telling you, your desire will come to pass. And all the plot of the devil against your life, against your ministry, all the plan of the enemy against your mission, the Lord will destabilize them and you will come alive in Jesus' name. I, I, where are my people? Where are my people? Are you still there in the house? I said you will come alive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is upon your life already. No failure in your Amen. life. No disappointment Amen. in your life. No setback in Amen. your life. You are protected. Amen. The hand of God is upon your life. You will go from grace to grace, from power to power. Be strong, my brother. Be strong, my sister. Whatever has come may be the challenge, the power of God Almighty will see you through. The grace of God will accomplish you. And the anointing of the Holy Ghost Amen. will rest upon your life. Amen. All the rod of the wicked will not rest upon you. But I am asking and I am praying for you. The hand of God will go before you. And all the activity of Satan, the Lord will banish them out of your life. And you will have a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight, something is going to happen to you tonight. And my dear sister over there, please don't be discouraged. Don't say you are alone. You are not alone. My brother, you don't say, look what I'm going through now. I am alone. No help. The, the comforter will come to help you. Don't say I am alone. You are not alone. My sister over there, you are not alone. My brother over here, you are not alone. God is with you. Okay, Christ devil. in you, the hope of glory. The angel of God is with, with beside you. The word of fire surrounding you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon your life. There is a air, there is a circle surrounding you. There is a light of God upon your head. There is a light that is surrounding your life. Everywhere you go, you are a star. The presence of God will not fail your life. Is that we don't know who we are. We don't know who we are in Christ. That is why you talk ordinary. That is why you act ordinary. But if you know who you are, sit there with Christ Jesus it. in heavenly places. Aye. If you know who you are, all Aye. power is given up to you in heaven and on earth. If you know, if you know who, who you are, that the Lord has released your spirit upon your life, angels are watching over you and they are your bodyguard, and you are not alone in the day, in the night. The presence of God will do that miracle, we pray water out from the rock, and if so be manna will come from heaven upon your life in that wilderness, the Lord will satisfy you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want you to go before the Lord now tonight. Just appreciate for what Christ has made you to be. You are a child of God. You are peculiar. You are a child of God. You are special. You are a child of God. And your name is written in the book of life. I want you to go before the Lord and say, God, I thank you for Christ in me, the hope of glory. God, I thank you for your presence in my life. God, I thank you for your glory upon my life. God, I thank you for your goodness upon my life. God, I thank you for the gift of life. God, I thank you 
for your authority to upon my life. God, I thank you for the authority of the Holy Ghost upon my life. God, I worship, I bless, I magnify, I adore you. I lift up your name above every other God. There is no one I can compare with you. Open your mouth, show appreciation to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the ancients of days, the land of the tribe of Judah, the God of the universe, the unbeatable, the unchangeable, the unreversible. Worship the King of Kings. Open your mouth and so gratitude to our God. Lord Jesus, I honor you. I want to hear your voice and say, God, I am grateful. I am grateful for power. I am grateful. I am here with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. I am grateful because of the authority I have in Christ. Tonight is revival. Tonight is revival. You must be revived tonight. Power must come upon your life tonight. Authority must flow in your vessel, flow in your blood, flow in your marrow. Every weakness in your marrow, every weakness in your system, every weakness in your body, every weakness in your spirit, the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn all those weaknesses away. You must be revived. Oh Lord God, never I worship you. Father God, never I bless you. Father the King, I rest with you. I take glory, I celebrate of Christ in the hope of glory. In the name of Jesus, Father, I celebrate you, Lord. For Christ in the hope of glory. Because you are my God. My brother, as you are driving in that car, in that in that vehicle, angel of God is in that vehicle. Angel of God is in that vehicle. As we are walking on the street, I want to tell you. There is the fire surrounding you, a circle of fire, a wall of fire. The presence of God will never fade in your life. The power of God will never fade in your life. You are stronger than your head. You are stronger than all the demons in the world. You are stronger than any evil personality. You are stronger than any evil forces. The Lord has raised you up. You will be on top. You will not be beneath. The Lord has raised you up. You are the child of the king. And you have authority for decree. And whatever you decree is the final. You are the final say. That is your authority in the the Lord has placed in your life. You are the finest. Know your right, my sister. Know your right, my brother. Know where you are. Know your right. You are. You are. You are a king. You are a queen. You are a priestess. You are a queen. You are a king. Know who you are. Know your identity. You are not ordinary. You are somebody. You are somebody. You are not ordinary. You are somebody. That is where what is what God says about you. Crown of glory upon you. He has made you a king and a priest unto me. You are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. You are clothed with the robe of right. So in the storm, every oppression of darkness against your life, against your family. Father, against anyone online right now. A table before us in the presence of our enemy. All those that have declared themselves to be our enemy, no matter what title, no matter what relationship they have in our life. Father, everyone will pray that we stop their end, O Lord. We stop their end, We pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to, you know, when, you know, when I was speaking the exhortation, I told oh, you open. that Satan had a conference, he called all the demons together, and he was telling them, what are we going to do? Okay, and he no. said, we cannot stop them going to church, we cannot stop them reading, reading, reading their Bible, we cannot stop them having eating in fellowship with, with their father. In that, in that okay, meeting, now, now call okay. them, let's keep them busy, yeah. let's keep them busy, unnecessary, let's keep them busy, okay. and let's begin to attack them, you know? There are some home the devil attack. 
There are some family the devil is after. We are going to pray. Anyone online that Satan has assigned his agent to destroy any one family, any any uh, family online right you know, now. We are going to pray. Satan, and pack your load and the family. Demon, pack your load and the family. Any other anything Satan is targeting their family because after their family, all of them Satan will pack your load and go. Demon, pack your load and go. For that brother's family, for that sister's family, for our family, every attack of that name, any home, for any brother, any sister, all that right now, or man, it will pack his load and go away. It is the family of Pastor Ali, it is the family of... Every kind of of the devil to any family. of the devil to make any family. Let's pray the hand of God, the swarm of God, will scatter the agenda. God will scatter them with thunder. God will scatter them with thunder. Holy Ghost will scatter them with thunder. The power of God will scatter them with thunder. O Lord, we now destroy the water of the enemy. In our life, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, in heaven, we pray. Name, we pray. Let's pray. Let's pray for all our ministers. Amen. Let's pray for all our ministers in this platform. Let's pray for all our ministers that the Lord God Almighty will build a world of fire around all our ministers. In their house, in their home, that the fire of God will burn, that all the activity of the devil against any minister of God in this platform, the Lord of heaven will paralyze them. The Lord of heaven will silence them. The Lord of heaven will paralyze them against any minister of this prayer request platform in this in this in this in this um, conference. Any minister the devil is after any home, any family, he has vowed to reign, he has vowed to support. Let me pray. That will fall upon the enemy and take their bed. If we can find their devices, their heads and not perform their enterprise. We rise all tonight, O Lord, and destroy the world of enemies. In the life of Pastor Matthew, in the name of Jesus, in the life of Pastor Etienne, in the name of Jesus, in the life of every brother that is here and is enjoying something. Father, arise and be with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. We pray. Amen. I have three minutes more. Three minutes more. If I call Pastor Matthew, three minutes more. You are going to pray. Anybody's name among God, the devil have the devil have put in the black book, in his book of destruction. For that fire to burn that book. All the book of Satan, all the agenda he have written down in that black book, in that demonic book. Command fire to consume those books. Open your mouth and pray. Father in heaven, we commit all our ministers to your hand and every hmm? that the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it burn all those fire of the Holy Ghost. All those who are trying to divide and exploding at the hand writing of the mountain that has been written contrary against us. All those who are trying to blot it out. People are trying to blot it out. Demonic and writing to blot it out in the name of Jesus. People are writing concerning us, concerning our family, concerning Pastor Matthew, concerning his family. Block out every unrighteous of darkness. Block out every people and try to block the enemy. The ministry block it out. In my ministry, I 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 Destroy the walls of the enemy and the life of the people tonight. Hold on. In the name we pray. Jesus. Amen. Let's 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 pray for some of our pastors and members who are strong and they are not able to join us tonight. Let's pray that God will heal them. As many that are strong that are sick, let's pray that God will send out this world. He will heal them. He will deliver them. He will set them free. He will them free. He will set them free. Let's pray for them. That are strong, they are not able to join us tonight because of one illness or the other. 
Father, we pray that you can put your hand of healing and give every one of them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray that you heal them, O Lord. I will pray that you heal them, O Lord. I will pray that you heal them, O Lord. I will pray that you heal them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, all our prayers are not finished. One way or the other, as strong, Father, in heaven, we pray that you arise, O Lord, that they have destroyed the ones of the enemy. That they have in the name of Jesus, on the other financial crisis, my Father, my Lord, and my God, I pray that you open heaven, Lord. Father, open heaven, Lord. Father, open heaven, Lord. I pour out a blessing upon them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, well, I will pray. As you visit the children tonight, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Ah, congratulations. I said Amen. congratulations. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Victory is.